What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling wonderful today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just the greatest, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself is brought you here. We're in for an amazing journey. Now, the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have Cancer in your placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, wherever, Cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot cards with based upon ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, when she's going void. Of course, there's all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on the situation and everything will be fantastic, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. And Cancer, happy Jupiter Day. Hopefully you're feeling abundant, feeling expansive, just ready to grow there, Cancer. And if you're not Cancer, then you can take this time to meditate because the moon is going void of course today. Now then, this is going to go void of course at a very auspicious time there, Cancer. Love that. But, um, it's going to go, the moon's going to go void, of course, at 5.55. Look at that, 5.55 a.m. And that will be Eastern Time. And she'll be moving from Capricorn into Aquarius on Friday the 15th at 12.53 p.m. And so we're looking at about a 31, pretty lengthy one, about a 31-hour void, of course, there, to, uh, void, of course, on there, Cancer. And with the Void of Course, this is a great energy for just going within, doing some deep breathing, kind of just get, finding your, your center again, Cancer. Because with, with how much energy that we can take on there, Cancer, it can be a lot. I remember working at a, at a place where oh, it would turn into like this like nightclub and then we'd get like really like you got all this loud music, all these people that are around. This is real like just a lot of energy. And then when I'd get back, like walking back, I'd be like, wow. <laughs> it's just like, so it's a it's a time, you know, and that's, that really does affect you, Cancer. If we, when we don't cleanse those energies, that build up can just be just a lot to deal with. So just kind of resetting your energies, doing maybe some like an Epsom bath or a cleansing bath, or maybe doing some, lighting some incense around uh, Cancer, getting some sage or doing some meditation, getting by some water, whatever that's looking like, getting out in nature, grounding. But also to cancer you may notice that your plans may be subject to unexpected changes during this time and also that people may be less likely to make decisions as well so just something to pay attention to and then we're we'll again with the moon being in cap this um this is a tricky place for the moon to be because she's technically in detriment in capricorn so our energy is a little bit weakened under that saturn influence but the nice thing though is that saturn is in pisces so that does make it a little bit easier but with this energy, this is a very ambitious place for the moon, very hard working placement because Capricorn is their, their, the, their, their mantra is I achieve and you know, whatever they set their goals out for, they, they accomplish it, their cancer, but this could be a great energy too for you to contemplate, you know, what you want to do for your career, you know, what are some long term goals and achievements that you want to accomplish there. Pay attention to to even how you, how your influence can, um, affect the direction of your of where you want to go because Capricorn is associated with the 10th house which can deal depending on which house system you use like if you use like the Placidus that's the 10th house is where our midheaven is and that's kind of where your career structure is and how the public sees you there Cancer so the thing too to be thinking about maybe that public image as well there Cancer how you coming across how you carry yourself and things but um, then you have is that all I wanted to say about that? I think that's all I want to say about that, Cancer. Then you have, and I like this combination here when you couple this Capricorn energy with the new moon energy because the new moon is a portal for manifestation there, Cancer. is limitless possibilities, and it's a, it's a time of the, the planting seeds and nurturing those energies and, and, and 
really tending to the stuff to help you grow. So maybe you want to, maybe you want to run a marathon or I've been on like a marathon. I'm not running a marathon, but, or at least I have, I don't plan on it, but that's been kind of popping in my head as of late, but, or maybe we want to learn a new skill. Maybe you're trying to learn how to work on cars or craft or build computers or, or whatever it is that you want to focus on during this new moon, um, during this new moon cycle here or do new moon phase during this cycle, Cancer. You know, it's about clarifying those attentions and really starting to get start to get things in order there, which Capricorn is a very orderly sign too. So that's a very nice, um, I feel like a nice blend of energies here. And then Cancer, these la uh, last few things, these readings that they do, they're not, oh, Cancer, hold on one second. All right, Cancer, we're back. <laughs> this happened during Virgo season too. They're doing some work on, they're doing some work on the house. It's fine. But these readings that they do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situation. Oh, hold on, can I put my candle on and again? Let me get, let me get back in the groove. And the decks that I'm working with, I have included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But also down below, some links for some other readers that I like watching Cancer. So definitely check them out. They're a fantastic, uh, fantastic bunch. I think you would really enjoy the insights that they bring. Also, there's a link for an astrologer that I, an astrologer that I like. Well, well spoke too soon. Cancer, hold on. All right, Cancer, I think it's safe now. And I think that's all I had to say. Let's get into your general energy of the day there, Cancer. Ooh, and I like this, Cancer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Cancer, you have the affirmations for positive change. And I like this. You've been in, you've been in a very, just like, affirmations just in general, Cancer. I mean, considering we started off these, this last couple of days, or at least because we have, what, the affirmation of digging deep yesterday. So, I feel with this positive change here, Cancer, is getting into this routine of of telling yourself different affirmations. You know, I, I remember I knew I remember this this buddy I had that would post positive affirmations all over his mirror, his uh, bathroom mirror. And it's like, you know, every every time you go to walk out, it's just like, you know, as you're kind of checking yourself, you do kind of like, oh yeah, like I'm doing fantastic or I'm going to erase the vibration. I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to do this, you know. And I feel that's something too, Cancer, since we're being very intentional with these affirmations. Something to be mindful of when we're doing this stuff is not focusing on what you don't want. It's focusing on what you do want, you know, because that really does make a make a really huge difference when it comes to when it comes to manifesting these energies here, Cancer. And <clears throat> I feel too, considering that we're getting, you know, we're in this retrograde period of Mercury, you know, being in Capricorn and retrograding back into Sagittarius, you know, well, that'll be on like the 23rd, so we got to like maybe about 10 days before that happens, but a little, about a little, a little less than that now, but... I do feel that it is, once you get into that practice there, Cancer, thinking about these future type of goals, thinking expansively between that Capricorn and that, that Sagittarius cusp, it, I feel really does, just pay attention to how this, this does change how you even go, because it, even when we're going through challenging situations that are cancer, these positive changes and or these affirmations that we're telling ourselves are not necessarily meant for us to just be in this sort of like that, oh, everything is just going to be sunshine and rainbows, but it's just like more so when we're in those harder energies, we're able to see from a higher perspective where it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going through a red, this retrograde is kicking my butt, but I know that there's going to be a lot of growth that's going from in this, you know, why it gives you a chance to be inquisitive, you know, it gives you that sense of pause instead of getting into that negative spiral and slowing your energies down even more more so than what the retrograde is doing and potentially stagnating you cancer so i feel like anything and i and look at this cancer i feel like look at this like it's like this the water is giving off this sort of magical energy here of momentum and and i just feel like it's those positive changes and things that really do keep us moving that cancer that even and that's interesting too. I'm just kind of just kind of looking at this mermaid here. I think she made an appearance in in this deck. I think she makes an appearance in the Queen of, or in the King of Cups as well. But I feel that 
even when we start getting into those affirmations, Cancer, it even helps us to start to see how how something so small can bring about something so mystical in your everyday. You start seeing how like, oh, things are starting to feel a little bit better. Oh, my vibration is raising. Oh, I'm starting to catch myself when I'm getting into these, like getting into this spiral here. And I, I like this cancer. And I feel like this is, this is giving me kind of like chariot energy in a sense, you know, the kind of like where we may be going through something, but we keep it moving, you know, we keep it. And, and not in a sense that like, again, we're not ignoring problems in a sense, but we're staying motivated, staying optimistic, staying hopeful, even star energies kind of coming through their cancer. But let me get some tear on this and see what's uh what our details want to come out with this. And I like how she's like looking out over the horizon too, you know, kind of looking in the distance that, you know, she may be in the small boat right now, but she's aiming to get to this big boat as well. That I love that, you know, becoming her own type of pirate of her own ship. It may just be of her and her cat right now, but you know, that's we're we're growing from there. She's got sp you got spirit on your side with this mermaid. I, I I like this energy here, Cancer. I feel like this is gonna be, and I like that this that this optimistic energy is coming through here on a on a Jupiter day. And let me get the rest of your cards here, Cancer. All right. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> All right, Cancer. So you have the. Two of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, and then the Three of Pentacles here, Cancer. And I feel with this, Cancer, here's that disappointment. You know, when life tends to maybe let us down or when we find ourselves in these sort of like emotional upheavals here or maybe even find ourselves in this energy of just kind of burnt out in a sense, really been kind of tested by by the universe as of late. Because, you know, Cancer, we're getting towards the end of the, of the calendar year at least and it's been a wild year. There's been a lot of energy shifts that have been going on. We got, we got a really heavy, what, back in March, and I mean, it's just been constantly just kind of been, I feel like everyone is on this consensus of just like, let's, let's, let's move on. And I feel that with this page of wands here and this nine, or excuse me, yeah, this page of wands and this two of wands here, that where it may take a little bit work here with the three of pentacles to get to, get to where we're believing these that everything is going to be okay too you know because the page of wands is that energy of motion and things when even it through uncertainty he doesn't know where he's going but there's this excitement that leads to that and i feel like this positive that like those affirmations for positive change do keep that excitement where you know where we because he looks he how do i want to put this I just feel like it keeps our drive going in a sense of cancer because the two of wands, this is Mars and Aries. And that's a very hot placement for Mars to be, you know, Mars rules over Aries. And I feel too, when we're in that affirmate positive change, that helps keep our energies going where we're making choices based off of from these kind of positive spaces instead of from this sort of like negative kind of disappointment places where you see... Yeah, all her cups may have spilled, or not all of them, like three of them. Three of her cups spilled here. And it's like, sure, you know, that's that stinks because now we have less wine. But <laughs> we still have this sunny day. We still have, how much? We still got over over half a bottle there, Cancer. <laughs> we got food. I don't know, we're serving a lobster. And so, you know, there, there are plenty of things to, where it can be easy to find the negative things, Cancer. It's just as easy to find the positive. We just have to look in the details and kind of find, find them, you know, Cancer. So... And the, the Page of Wands, too, what last thing, Cancer, is he does give me that sort of enthusiastic type of energy there that, that, that everything is going to be okay, you know? Hmm. All right, Cancer, but I think I'm going to leave that there. Very uplifting start. <clears throat> Let's get another one here. You know, too, Cancer. Oh, look at that King of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands can be even like a card of tenacity, too. You know, kind of keeping this oof, oof. 
yeah, in the face of adversity, in the face, huh? I love how you're sticking up with the energies, Cancer. Here's Capricorn. Let me get the rest of your cards before I, before I get into this thing. <clears throat> Ooh, and we were just talking about Aries, too, because you got the Emperor here, Cancer. You got the Emperor, the Devil, the lovely Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, and then the King of Pentacles here, Cancer. And where are we starting? Let's start with Cap, because, you know, here's Cap always trying to rain on somebody's... You know what? No, let me, not, let me not dog on Capricorn. But I do feel with the Devil being here, Cancer, that... The devil is there to test us, you know, and it can be, it can take a, a lot of work. Again, when we're talking three of pentacles, that's one of Cap's cards. That is, oh goodness, Mars and Capricorn. And Mars and Capricorn? I might be making that up there, Cancer. I, I need to double check that one. But <clears throat> the devil is there to, because again, it's that, it's that test those things that we give ourselves power to, like that negative energy, you know, these potentially these these fears, these anxieties, because the Four of Swords on a, on a lower vibration can be this sort of like anxiety type of energies, things that don't help us sleep. You know, we've been in so negative that we're staying up late, that we're not taking charge of things. Like, interesting, I'm even kind of getting, it can lead to, with the Emperor here, that's fascinating, that it can lead to this, like, the download I got was like this sloth type of energy like this this lack of motivation that happens here cancer and i feel that when we do find ourselves in that lower vibration you know those kind of negative energies it's it's a healing look at the look at the queen of cups here bringing the shell of this healing water there cancer and i feel like it's the she's the queen of cups is there as a reminder to assuage those kind of when you find yourself in those kind of stressful negative type of vibrations there in order to get that stability back there with the king of pentacles and realize how abundant you are i mean he's he's living it up he's got his dog there's this cow here on the horizon why why he needs this cow i'm not sure but he's he's abundant you know and i feel that when we're when we're able to Again, it's just like when we when we learn to kind of nurture our minds, even because our, our thoughts are very powerful, Cancer. These affirmations where they may seem small in the in the short term there, in the long term, they can be really kind of powerful tools for you. Because, I mean, just notice how when you play a certain negative emotion on repeat over and over again, how much power that does have over you. And now I feel like it's time to give this, you know, help, try something different. Give these, give that, give that negative energy a rest and allowing the positive to kind of come in there. So to get you kind of in this calmer state there, cancer, even, and I feel like even able to just rise up and face whatever challenges come your way, at least it, 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 with more ease there, cancer. So I dig that cancer. I love that. <laughs> I love that Cap showed up here. Because the devil does have a, a very unorthodox way of testing us, Cancer. But it is necessary to just test our metal, in a sense. So, But let's go ahead and get a little advice from Saturn. Alright, Cancer, last little bit here. <clears throat> oh, Cancer, look at this this healing energy here with this star. So you have the star, the magician. Oh! <laughs> I love that little surprise, Empress. <laughs> the three of wands. I love when she does that. The six of cups and the four of pentacles here. I think I covered everything, Cancer. Let's let's switch back over. That was that was a pleasant little treat there, Cancer. And see, you know, just like how the Empress just kind of surprised us there, Cancer. 
And she's been going around quite a bit. And I feel that there is this energy of reflecting on how abundant you are. Look at all the abundance around you that you've created there, Cancer. And it doesn't matter how big or how small it is. It's more than what you've had previously. And I feel like it's keeping in that mind because sometimes I feel like this, when we focus on this, I don't know, it's like when we... It's like with this Four of Pentacles here, it's like we're, it's almost like we're keeping this change almost like kind of bottled up in a sense. It's like how this cat is kind of looking outside here. I feel this figure has been kind of locked down for a while. Maybe we've been kind of cooped up, held down by something. And I feel like it's, it's interesting because it's like, I feel like in that sort of cooped up energy, because I'm getting like a stuck with this... I don't want to describe this cancer. It feels like the four of pentacles and the six of cups are giving me this sort of stuck in this loop type of energy there. And it's like we're having troubles letting go of that in a sense, really kind of holding on as opposed to the six of cups can be a card of sharing as well. And I feel like that it's it's almost like I feel like the universe is kind of asking you with the star to share, to kind of unload your burdens onto the universe and then, you know, put your concerns and things out there. But ask, not just putting them out there and just letting it be, asking for guidance and pay attention to how that comes back to you. See how she's, she's like, she's giving to the water and she's receiving from the from the heavens here, Cancer, but I feel like it's not just this constant giving and it's this it's this cycle that's coming through here, like how the Queen of Cups is even coming through, like almost like giving an offering to the ocean in a sense, like keeping the, letting these, I feel like almost even like with this positive change, I feel like there's some pent up emotions that we might not be dealing with their Cancer, like really kind of facing what they're meaning here. I, I But always remember, Cancer, if you don't, and I feel, you know what, two things, Cancer, because considering that you got, because the, these two have been popping up quite a bit, there's this balance here that's needed with the Emperor and the Empress, and I feel too, though, that there's this, the people that are around you as well, do they lift you up? Do they keep you motivated? Do they keep you feeling, you know, feeling prosperous? You know, are they, you know, are they, because it's not, the Emperor and the Empress, where they do have very specific roles, the Emperor kind of being that dominant, kind of getting stuff done, whereas the Empress is that sort of like receiving and that growing energy. The Emperor can do Empress things too, and same with, the, you know, and vice versa. And I feel there's this, I don't know how to explain this, Cancer. I feel like there's this, this internal balance that's being needed as well. I feel like we may have been in just in, hmm... Or how do I want to put this? It almost feels like there's could even be there's in like a relationships possibly that there may even be some sort of like something that's lowering that vibration to the things that we may be sharing with others that is affecting this abundance and this action here. Cancer, I guess is more so where I'm trying to get at, but... But yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. I hope that that, I hope that that made sense. But if, um, if anything resonated with you, if you are like that, Cancer, give it a thumbs up, oh, give it a thumbs up and share this, Cancer. If you know someone who's been kind of like maybe struggling with these positive affirmations or this changes here, because I feel like it's a lot that was coming through there. It's like something where we can even like get into these kind of like where love can come in for us possibly. If that's something we're looking for with this combination or some sort of healing thing from the past or. And just a little kind of sidebar there, Cancer. I feel like this positive change here, there may have been something where in the past this could have been like a dominant either feminine energy or masculine or something this could be parents but i just it just a significant energy that may have affected the vibration in a sense and paying attention to that like that's just just a thing that's coming through in there but 
And I don't know if I mentioned that, Cancer, like with this magician being here. So I'm getting back to your reading for like a hot second. Thoughts become things with the magician. You put positivity out there, you receive positivity. And then subscribe there, you Queen of Cups. Hit that bell button, get notified of all these videos each, each day. And then last little bit there, Cancer, uh, check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for your readings. But just check your chat there, Cancer, get to know yourself a little bit more. Find out, you know, maybe getting to know your chart a little bit better there, Cancer, can help raise your vibration to the roof, give you to a positive change there. I know when I found out I have all this Leo in my chart, I was just like, bet, that makes more sense. <laughs> but all that I'll give you, Cancer, is down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here. Hmm. So I can get you out of here, Cancer. And you have the moon card here, Cancer. And I feel with the moon being here, you know, with this positive change, and I like this. This is more so, because after the moon is the sun there, Cancer, to lead into that happiness. And I feel that you see how this cat here is looking at its reflection and what it sees there is something, you know, you may see a cat, but he sees a, he sees a mighty, mighty panther. He's feeling that, but that's that positive affirmation. And it's like, it's starting now he's going to start walking in that energy. And that's where I feel like it's this, he's walking out of this darkness from the moon. And once the sun starts to rise, he'll rise with the sun as well. And like really kind of embody this different type of energy there, like, how this witch is flying above high see seeing things from a different perspective it's and i feel like you tell yourself that every day there cancer get into that practice you know one practice that i've had kind of that i've gotten into is you know before i even you know i turn off you know turn off my alarm and we're thanking the universe for all the abundance that's going on around and that it's a blessed day because it absolutely is a perfect day for manifestation and whatever that looks like cancer i might be manifesting some tea but something was created today but let's get some um let me get your other uh oracle card here so i can get you out of here cancer oh i like this cancer Ooh, even some saturn energy coming through here thank you so you got the structure card here cancer and this is a card of build a strong foundation and I feel like that's what happens when we start practicing these affirmations and things. You're building a stronger foundation. But I feel there's some things that we're going to need to kind of tower. And if we have some sort of like negative things that we've built up on so that the... Because I like talking about that relationship between the emperor or the empress and the tower. Because the tower comes and destroys old things so that the empress can come and grow things. And I feel like when you build your foundation on that positivity that change is just makes you this 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 monolith in the sense this thing that you know you know that adapts but isn't isn't shaken by change or you know shook by change shaken shook by change cancer <clears throat> so Yeah, Cancer. I feel like, and just pay attention to how that compounds over time there, Cancer. Just a little, another little thing, but I think I'm going to leave that there. So you stay safe out there, Cancer. Telling yourself these positive things because you're fantastic, Cancer. You're so fantastic. If you just need to hear something, I made mean, <clears throat> a whole other channel for you because you are a fantastic sign. You are a powerful intuitive and you keep eyes on the moon there, Cancer, because this could be something that we're working on during this lunar cycle. You know, building ourselves up, telling ourselves these positive affirmations and things. That's fantastic. And I will catch you <clears throat> on the next one tomorrow. Venus Day. <laughs> Love it.